door at Texas Tapes and Records and the exclusive interview by Linda Silk with Deep Purple. Golden Eerie, Into the Twilight Zone on one. A few album notes, ACDC is headed into the studio next month. We should probably see an album from them uh, in April or May. Other bands in the studio, Journey, ZZ Top, Judd Cougar, Mellencamp, and Bon Jovi. Albums from those expected in March or April with tours to follow. There's still no definite plans in the works for Def Leppard. However, the band is still checking with American drum companies on the possibilities of having some electronic drums made for Rick Allen. Rick Allen will remain in Def Leppard, though. That is definite. The Scorpions will be releasing a di live double LP coming up in May. The album will also include some new studio cuts that have never been heard before. Still no word on that new Boston album. They're still tied up in lawsuits with the record company. And there's a name I want you to remember, King Cobra. It'll be a big band for 1985. That's the Rock Place Files. I'm Dana Steele at Texas Tapes and Records with Deep Purple back together again. Last Wednesday, January 23rd, Texas Tapes and Records hosted yet another incredible in-store autograph party. This time, they featured the legendary hard rock band Deep Purple at their only in-store appearance of their entire 85 U.S. tour. Over 5,000 loyal fans jammed the store to see the reunited members of one of rock's biggest selling groups. The band's new album, Perfect Strangers, is their first group effort in 11 years and is evidence that they still possess the fire of their early days. Linda Silk was on hand to interview the group. Hi, I'm Linda Silk for 101 Rock Place with members of Deep Purple immediately following the only U.S. record store appearance they're making on their 1985 tour. Deep Purple, as if I needed to introduce them, Ian Gillen, Roger Glover, oh, John sure. Lord, and Ian Pace. It's a pleasure to see you, gentlemen. Uh, the immediate question out of the shoots, I must ask, how did you guys get back together? Quite by accident. Actually, it's all his fault. That's why he's got the chair. I think we all spent uh, 11 years doing things that we realized weren't quite as good as what we had been doing before. And having got all the um, frustration and whatever out of our systems, individual musical things we wanted to do, then uh, we realized that Purple was really the best thing we ever had. So it was a natural thing. Who initiated the... Uh process that got you back together <laughs> actually i think it was ian he, he kept calling us up i got a bigger phone bill than anyone else ever <laughs> what was it like to be on stage with each other again for the first time in so long weird being upside down that, that's right everything goes mm -hmm. counterclockwise no, or clockwise actually the interesting thing was that uh, i think the first show we did we were really really nervous We'd, we were all uh, match fit. We'd all been in bands playing, performing, so we knew we could cope individually as performers. But I think the one thing that was in our minds was whether the old chemistry was going to work with the band again. We knew we could crack it in the studio, um, but that sort of, we've always been a live band, you know, it's always been a, a performance thing. And whether or not it was going to happen, first with us, and secondly, whether the audience was going to accept it, I think was the big sort of nervous thing in our minds. And I think when we got that first show out of the way in Perth, it was, um, I mean, it just walked, just grins, smiles, everything. It just went great from there. It's, yeah. Gentlemen, I have a difficult question to ask you. Um, and I simply ask this to give you a forum for response. Several months ago, Ronnie James Dio played town and uh, your album had just come out. And given his association directly or indirectly with quite a few members of your band, uh, it was appropriate to ask him, what do you think about the new Deep Purple album, Perfect Strangers? His response, in essence, was, I wish the guys well, but this is a dinosaur that should not have been resurrected. You now have the forum to respond to that, and I'm fascinated to know what you would say. Absolutely nothing. He's an old friend. I mean, I wish him well. He's a dinosaur that shouldn't be resurrected. A very small one. <laughs> <laughs> there were small dinosaurs. Yeah. I think actually... Uh, Did we have our shoes? There'd be a lot of criticism for a band like Deep Purple that goes back to, I think, 1968. And there's going to be detractors that say that we shouldn't get back together again. And really, that's...
that's their problem. It's not ours. We're having fun and we're enjoying what we're doing. And as long as there are going to be people out there, they're going to enjoy it as well. I can't see anything wrong with that. There's no rule book that says you can't do it. And uh, you can't please everyone. We're pleasing ourselves. See, Ron is very experienced in this business, so he should know. Now look, be honest. Is this a one album, one tour deal? No. no. It's perfect. It's as long as a rock and roll lifetime can be, and we're optimistic about this lasting longer than it did before. Um, we mean business, and we are back where we should be together again. Absolutely.